First Peter chapter 5 and verse number 7. Uh, the Bible says, casting your cares upon him. For he cares for you. And certainly we serve a God who cares. You got to spend some time uh, in uh, the doctor's office. He cares for you. You got to spend some time in the emergency room, waiting room. You in the uh, waiting room of the emergency room. Uh, he cares for you. And I'm so glad that we serve a God uh, who cares. That doesn't matter who we are, doesn't matter where we're from, doesn't matter uh, where we think we're going. He cares for you. So good to be in God's house uh, this morning. And we trust that you have come to worship the almighty God of heaven in spirit uh, and in truth. Uh, as we oftentimes say, we are a uh, Bible-believing church. Uh, we believe in doing uh, Bible things, uh, Bible ways, and we, we make no apology. Yes, sir. For following after the Bible, That's right. uh, the Word of God. Uh, because uh, when uh, we stand before God, the Bible says that that's, that's how we're going to be judged out of the things that are written in the Bible, uh, the Word of God. To those of you that may be visiting with us, we want you to know that you are our very special guest. I don't know, you may have someone here today that's not a member of the body of Christ. And when the invitation is extended, yeah, yeah. I want to encourage you to walk down these aisles, give me your hand, give God your heart, and we'll baptize you Amen. Uh, into uh, the body of Christ. Let, let, let me see your Bible today. Amen. You have your Bible, hold your Bible. If you don't have your Bible, hold your hands up like this. I know you don't have your Bible. Repeat after me. My Bible will keep me from sin. My Bible will keep me from sin. Or sin will keep me from my Bible. Or sin will keep me from my Bible. Oh, right. let's turn over to our, our text today. Uh, First Peter, uh, the chapter is uh, two, and our text is uh, verses uh, five through nine. First Peter, uh, chapter two. And, uh, and, and really, um, verses 5, we'll, we'll read all of the verses. Verses 5 through 9. Amen. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood. Uh, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Then at verse number 6, uh, the Bible says, Wherefore also it is uh, contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be Confound. Uh -huh. Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious, but unto them uh, which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallow, the same is made the head of the throne. And a stone, a stumbling block, yes, sir. a rock of offense, mm -hmm. even to them which stumble mm -hmm. at the word being disobedient. Whereunto they also are appointed. Mm -hmm. And then notice now verse number 9. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Bible says there, he says, But ye are a chosen, chosen. generation. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you know it or not, church, but that lets us know that, yeah. that we are yeah. special. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, each and every one of us. He says, You are a chosen uh, generation. Uh, you got some some royalty uh, in in your blood, and, and folk uh, are always talking about uh, 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 Brother Gills, uh, the Queen of England. Well, 
right. Yeah. Uh, and, and what's going on uh, with, with the queen? And as far as I can tell, yes, sir. you know, yes, sir. the queen, she really don't have a job. Yeah. All, right, all she do is sit around all day and, and, and sip tea yes, and, and, yes, and, and go, go, go to meetings. She don't have any decisions uh, of any substance uh, to make. Uh, she, just, she just lives a, a high society lifestyle. That's right. But the Bible said that we are a royal priesthood. Yes. We are a holy nation. We are a peculiar people that we should show forth what? Praise. praise. Oh, y'all not praying with me. Yes. That we should show forth praises praise. of him. Yes. Who did what? Who oh. called us. Now, when, when Jesus called you, it, it, it wasn't by uh, some type of... Uh, 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 overnight experience yes, where uh, some white bird talked to you. Right. Yeah, well, I'm about to yes, right here. Yeah. And yeah. he didn't call you uh, yeah. in, in the thunderstorm when 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 you when your life was flashing before your eyes and, and you realize all those things that you had done wrong. The Bible says he calls us by the gospel yes, sir. of our Lord and Savior. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, yes, Show forth the praises of him who called you. Mm -hmm. He called you out of darkness. Yes, sir. Into the marvelous. Yes, sir. Light. Take your time. Yeah. This past week, yeah. mm -hmm. Sister Mary and I uh, traveled to uh, the state of, of Arizona. We were in uh, Phoenix. Uh, Arizona, and this this is the text that that I was assigned to yes, to yeah. preach there in Phoenix. Right. Yeah. But uh, uh, while we were there, yeah. Sister Mary said to me, she said, "You know, we are here in Arizona. We ought to visit the, the Grand Canyon." All right. All right. Yes, sir. You know, I'm afraid of heights. I said, yes, "No, we're standing right here in this old thing." <laughs> She said, what the heck? It, it, it's safe out there. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Now, Brother Griffin knows the famous last word. Yes, sir. There's always something about it about it's safe. There's always the first time. And, 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 and you know, it'd be Brother Barry out there and I'd fall off in that canyon somewhere. I hear you say that. Somebody yes, would say, well, I thought they were at the Arizona. <laughs> but Ken, I thought they were at the Arizona lecture shit. Yes, sir. I yes, said, no, we're standing right here in this hotel. <laughs> I don't know if I ever get to see the grand. Yes, yes, sir. But this morning, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to use uh, my assigned subject in Arizona. Uh -huh. I want to talk about building the church yeah. through the priesthood all right. of all Christians. Yes, yes, building the church. Yes, sir. And see, church. Uh, that, that's, that's what we all ought to be about is, is trying to, to, to build uh, uh, the Lord's church. And I think sometimes uh, we forget about that. Yes, sir. You see, because when, when folk come into uh, God's house, uh, Brother Griffin, they're going to be either, they're going to want two things are going to happen. They're going to have a positive experience, or they're going to have a negative experience. Either one, they're going to remember. And we ought to be about trying to make sure that folk have a positive That's right. That's right. experience when they come into God's house. Right now, I want to look at uh, uh, the goal, uh, the purpose uh, of uh, my lesson today. I want to make sure that uh, we understand the points that uh, I'm trying to get across. Yes, sir. And as you uh, focus on that, I want to share a couple of things with you. Uh, you see, under the Mosaic system, yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a temple of, of gold and uh, a temple of stone. Yes, sir. And there were priests, uh, Brother Jolly, who, who offered sacrifices uh, in the temple. And, and these priests were uh, required to be the descendants uh -huh. Come on, yeah. of Aaron. Yes, sir. And uh, you may remember that uh, when uh, the land of Canaan was uh, divided, uh -huh. you remember uh, the Levites, yes, uh, the tribe of Levi, and Moses and Aaron, they were of uh, the tribe of Levi. Yes, sir. 
they were not uh, given in the land. They didn't land because uh, their service uh, was going to be in the tabernacle. Their service was going to be in the temple. Yes, sir. And they being the ones who were doing the teaching and the preaching were to earn their living from the gifts, from the tithes and offerings of the people. Right. Yes, and so then, uh, we find back under the Mosaic system that there were sacrifice of lambs bulls and other animals, yes. animals required to be without blemish. Uh -huh. and, and really, when we look at all of those things back there under the Old Testament, all those things were just a, a shadow of things to come. Yes, sir. They were things that were pointing, Brother Jolly, they were pointing at uh, Jesus Christ. Yes. Well, now, in Christ, Yes, sir. All right, let's, let's move away from the mosaic system. Uh -huh. And let's talk a little bit about being in Christ. Yeah. In Christ, Christians are, did you know that in Christ? Yes. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse number 6, you are the dwelling place. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, um, God, that's where God dwells. Yes, he no longer dwells in temples right. made uh, uh, with Hands, yes, but sir. he dwells uh, within us. Mm -hmm. You see, in the temple, the Christians are the holy priesthood. We offer up spiritual sacrifices. Yes, First Peter 2 and 5. And Christians are uh, the sacrifices, the living sacrifices, which they as priests offer. Yeah. Romans chapter 12 yeah. at verse yeah. number 1. So in Christ, we are the, you see, in Christ, we are the temple, we are the priests, yeah. and we are the sacrifices. Yes, sir. Yeah. So it all comes together mm -hmm. uh, in Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Well, now, uh, the purpose uh, of my lesson today. Number one, I, I, want, I, I want us to, I want to help us uh -huh. uh, understand. Let's back up to the purpose. I want us to understand uh, why we are called. As the nature of our call. All right. We need to know uh, why we're called. We, we, you know, some of us, we, we get excited about being called. We don't even know what, we, what we're excited about. Yeah. We, we wave in our hands about everybody else and wave yes, them. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I wish somebody would pray with yeah. you. Know, so let's understand uh, the nature of our calling and why we're called. Number two, I want to help us understand that the Lord's church is not like the world. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. Y'all listen to me good. Y'all listen to me good now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we're not like the religious world. That's right. Yes, sir. You know, and, 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 and so, you know, what, what they're doing over there and over there, right. somebody help me. Yes, sir. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, we need to be more concerned about what, what's in the Bible but yes, as opposed to what they're doing over there. That's right. Amen. Amen. And as we do this, this one, yeah. there are four things, and uh, I hope I'm able uh, to get through uh, these four things. Uh, I'm going to do the best I can. Uh, the time the old clock on the wall is, is working on me, so I better get moving, Brother Diaz. Number one, I want us to realize that God calls us for a purpose. Yes, sir. Now, some of us think that we are only called just for our benefit. Now, there are benefits of the call, yes, right. but God calls us for a purpose. Number two, God calls us into a close and intimate relationship. Mm -hmm. You see, this relationship is a very special relationship. Yes, the relationship that you have uh, in Christ, mm -hmm. you won't find it uh, anywhere else. Right. Some people look for this relationship when they're on drugs. But drugs, oh y'all, somebody help me right here. They do for you what Jesus Christ can do for you. Somebody else looks for this special relationship by drinking alcohol, by oh, drinking man, beer, man. by smoking dynamite. Oh, oh, man, man. Yeah. You can't find it. Yes, smoking those dynamite. They call it now. When I was a young fella, they call it weed, dynamite. What do you call it? You don't know. Huh? I was like, what are you talking about? Oh, good that he seems like he's been in Greece long enough and all that for college. All right. So 
To show forth praises. When do we show forth those praises? Well, and, and Hebrews chapter 13, verse number 15, uh, when we sing praises yes, to sir. God, when we live our lives, when we tell for what God has, has done mm -hmm. for us, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. we show forth the praises of the Almighty God of heaven in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse number 26. The Bible says, For as often as you eat this bread, as often as you drink this cup, you do proclaim the Lord's death. Yes, sir. See, you're proclaiming this. Yes, sir. Somebody said, Well, Brother Mary, why do you partake of the Lord's Supper every Sunday? It didn't say you had to do it every Sunday. It said, As often That's right. as you eat this bread and drink this cup. Well, number one, the example right. that we yeah. had. Yes, sir. Yeah. See, when Paul. Uh, taught them mm -hmm. the Lord and about the Lord's yeah, Supper. Yes, sir. Uh, he said, as often as you uh, come together, uh, when are you talking about when you come together? Uh -huh. Well, how often did they come together? And That's right. The uh, Bible says in Acts 27, upon what? Upon the first day of the week. When the disciples came together to do what? To break bread, to partake of the Lord's Supper. Uh, notice he said, Paul preached unto them. Yeah, and see, uh, Brother Gornfield, none of the preachers, mm -hmm. you know, they'll read uh, Acts 20 and 7 and say, well, that don't mean every Sunday. No, but now when we get over to 1 Corinthians chapter 16, uh -huh. verse number 2, upon the first day of the week, that every one of you do what? Lay uh, by in the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, they, they take their offering every Sunday, don't yes, they? Sir. Yes, sir. And not only, and, and they'll take it up two and three and four times every Sunday. Yes, sir. And so then, uh, we are proclaiming something to the world. Yes, I told you before that when you partake of the Lord's Supper, you're looking back mm -hmm. at what Jesus did for you yeah. uh, on Calvary. But you're also looking, looking forward. forward to one day. One day. Jesus yes, is sir. coming back in. And brother, you, when he comes back, I don't know about you. 
right now. But I want to be ready yes, sir. if yeah. uh, when Jesus comes. Yes, sir. I don't know about you, but All when right, I man. trumpet sound yeah. Yeah. on that great day of morning, yes, sir. I want to get up and I want to hear my name called yeah. 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 on that great day of morning. But so, so we got to understand. Now, a question that I have for you. Mm -hmm. About this, yes, sir. Purpose. And y'all, time, time, time is way long. Uh, think about it. Did Israel do, really do a good job All right. doing their purpose? All right. They, they, they didn't really. Yes, sir. The question I have are we doing a good job? All right. Yeah. Are we doing a good, yes, good job? Number two, mm -hmm. God calls us into a close yes, sir. and an intimate yes, sir. relationship. See, the relationship that we have with God and Jesus Christ is one that's, that's very special. See, Brother Ellis, I can tell Jesus anything. Uh -huh. I can tell him everything. And I ain't got a word about it being out on Facebook. That's right. That's it. Amen. Oh, somebody pray with me right here. That's all right, preacher. Yeah, uh, you know, you, you start asking, well, well, T, you start asking about where folk are, all you got to do is look on Facebook. Yes, sir. <laughs> you don't have to ask them anymore why they didn't come to church. You can look on Facebook and it'll tell you why they didn't come. All right. But uh, it, it's a close personal relationship. But the, the, the problem that, that we have, uh, and, and going back, and I want to keep using the imagery uh, back in the Old Testament because that's where the priesthood is started and talking about building uh, the church through the priesthood of all Christians. You see, all of us collectively, uh, we as Christians are that priesthood. Well, yes, soon after uh, God brought uh, Israel out of Egyptian bondage, uh, soon after the covenant was established at Mount Sinai in Exodus 25 and 8, God announced his intentions yes, to sir. live among People. That's right. Yeah. But the problem that they had was is is that, that you see the problem that they have, and we even have this problem today. God is divine. Yes, sir. And we are human. Yes, sir. Let me say that again. God is divine. Yes, sir. And we are human. Uh -huh. We are made in the image of God. Yes, sir. All of us, but God made us out of clay. He made us out of the dirt. Yeah. So yes, we're in God's image, but uh, we're also made out of the weakness uh, that's, that we find yes. uh, in that clay. So, so God is holy, mm -hmm. but we are unholy. Yes, sir. Oh, he yeah. wants to have a close relationship with us, but the problem, Sister Margie, is this. Sin gets in the way. Yes, sir. That's right. Isaiah 59, oh, yeah. verses 1 and 2. Yeah. If you don't mind, if you please put up there for me. Isaiah chapter 59 uh, verses uh, 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. And let's look at that uh, because the Bible says that oh, the Lord's hand is not shortened mm -hmm. that he cannot say neither is it here yet that he can not hear. But that's number two. But right there, what is the problem? Let your iniquity yeah, see, it's our sin. See, God wants to be in this close personal relationship with us. That's right. But the problem is, Brother Griffin, is sin. Sin gets in the way. And God doesn't want to be where sin is. Yeah. Oh, he said, Your iniquities have done what? Have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you. Then oh, yeah. he will. Not here. Right. But you see, so even back on the Old Testament, God wanted to be in the presence of his children. Mm -hmm. Jesus wants to be in our presence today. In Matthew chapter 18, at verse number 20, the Bible says, Where there are two or three gathered together in my name. Yeah. My name Jesus says, I'm there in the midst of them. And so, but, but the interesting thing is, is that Sin is the problem. Brother Patrick, sin is the problem in the relationship. That's right. but, but, but let me show you how good God is. All right. God, number three, mm -hmm. God provides a way. Yes, sir. A way. See, sin gets in the way, but God provides a way for us. Y'all yeah. think about that for me. God provides a way. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, my yeah. 
Yes, sir. First Corinthians mm -hmm. chapter 10. Yes, sir. The yes. Bible says that God will not allow us to be tempted. Uh, above that which we are able to bear. Brother Kim, some, uh, Brother Greg Jr., some folks say that there, there, there's a lot of temptation out there. Yeah. <laughs> but, but God provides you a way of escape. <laughs> and we've got to learn how to lean yes, on Him yes, uh, when we need Him. So God provides a way yeah. for this relationship. Yes, well, now, you see, under the old law of God, God made a way. For example, every year uh -huh. they made the annual sacrifice yes, on the Day of Atonement. God was making a way for them. Amen. Well, back there under the old law, that was just a shadow of good things right. to come. Yes. It just was a shadow. Yes, you remember when John the Baptist, y'all remember when John the Baptist yes. saw Jesus. You remember what he said? Yes. He saw him coming and he said, John chapter 1, verse number 29, behold. Yes, what he said. The Lamb of God yes. that takes away the sins of the people. God provides a way. That's yes. right, people. That's right, son. Yes, sir. Uh, when I was a little boy, uh -huh. uh, they used to sing a song. Uh -huh. Jesus is a way. Uh -huh. Anybody in here have a song that song? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus, he, he's a, Brother Kimball, he's a way maker. Yeah. Right. Now, did they say that one day? One day. He made a way for me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So God mm -hmm. provides. Yes, Amen. Amen. And, uh, I don't have time to get into it, ahead, but we could go over to Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, where it talks about the fact that we're, we're saved by grace, but, but not by grace alone. Yeah. Yeah. See, not by grace alone. Yes, sir. Grace is God's part, our yes, part, is right. what? Is right. obedience. Right. Hebrews chapter 5, verses 8 and 9, though he was son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. Yes, sir. Being made perfect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He became the author of eternal salvation yes, unto all them that obey him. Yes, sir. And then, finally, mm -hmm. uh, the relations, in this relationship, God makes a way for the relationship. But in this relationship, uh -huh. God demands. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Obedience. Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. Sister Trey, on this part, I'm not going to get excited. Because I want everybody to, to understand all right. what I'm all about right. to say. All right. All right. God demands, God demands. holiness. Yes, yes, right. He demands that you separate yourself yes, from the folk in the workplace. Yes, sir. He demands that you separate yourself yes, from the folk in the school yard. Yes, yes. What I mean by separate that I mean you can't do what they do. That's right. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Yes, sir. See, if, if they're there, uh, if, they're, if, if they're there in the workplace, uh, married women are flirting with married men. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to get on the and we're I'm going to I'm never going to have a job in the kitchen. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, I'm going to hit on the nerve. So they be part right there. All right. <laughs> Theoretical stuff, and, yes, but, but but preaching yes, <laughs> needs sir. to be practical preaching yes, where sir. folk understand where you're coming from. Yeah. The Bible says, and back in the Eastern cultures, yeah. <laughs> you know they, they were greet with a kiss. Yes, sir. Yeah. Brother Ellis, the Bible says, salute uh, Romans 16 and 16. Salute one another with a holy kiss. Yes, sir. The churches of Christ salute you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and I observed that. 
You know, there, there's several individuals, even in the congregation, you know, uh, they, they, they'll kiss one another. Yes, sir. Holy kiss. Yes, sir. Man. And there are others, and, and this is what I'm trying to get to, there are others who, who hug and embrace. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. But brothers and sisters, let me tell you, the hug yes, and embrace sir. needs to be a holy hug and a holy embrace. Oh, y'all not, y'all not fine with me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, so there's some folk who you embrace and it's not a holy embrace. Yeah. Yes, sir. Gotta be holy. Yes, sir. Trying to, trying to make it uh, uh, practical. See, I don't want you sitting there. Brother Barry said that God demands holy. What, what, what was he talking about? Yeah. Well, you know, when you when you hurt that sister, you give her a sign. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Don't throw her all the way up yeah. on you like that. Ain't no business trying to hurt her. That's right. That's right. I'm, I'm trying to. Making it practical preaching where folk can understand what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. <laughs> God demands that we live holy. Yes, sir. Now, First Corinthians. I know I've got to get in there. First Corinthians, I, I mean First Peter, rather. Right? Yes, sir. First Peter chapter 1, verses 13. He says, Wherefore, gird up your moments of your mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, this is a this is a spiritual battle, church. Mm -hmm. He says, "Gird up the loins of your mind. Yeah. Uh, be sober, and and hope to the end mm -hmm. for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ." Yes. Oh, as obedient children, not fashioned in yourselves according to what, according to your what, your former lives. Yes, sir. See, in Christ, you are a new creature, a new creation. God has made you spiritually all over again in your ignorance. He says, but as he which hath called you is what? He which has called you is what? Y'all say that he which has called you is what? Holy. Holy. See, God is holy. Yes, sir. Separate on a part. And since he is holy, he also, I saw ye be what? Holy with all manner of your whatever your conversation. Yes, sir. Just heard a preacher the other Sunday. Yeah. Griffin in the pulpit cussing. <laughs> Talking about it's in the Bible. <laughs> well, that's because in the Bible, that don't give me, uh, 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 brother, brother Mason, that doesn't give me a right to get up in the pulpit and start cussing because it's, it, it's a whole lot in the Bible. Yes, sir. That's right. Fornication is in the Bible. That's right. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm not playing with you, buddy. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So, so even our conversation yes, ought to be, and, and you don't have to talk to a person long. That's right. To know if they believe that God demands <laughs> I hold this. Let's go to, to the song. I'm going to summarize and close out right here. In my conclusion, the chairman yeah. is favored by God. Yeah. And so, church, because we are favored by God, we can't allow circumstances to get in our way. Yeah. Because these circumstances will keep you away from God. Yeah. Last thing, the lost church is distinct yeah. from society. And Lord, the Lord, you see, we have to be identifiable. Yes, sir. Amen. One of the problems that many of our churches are having is we're trying to become too much like the world. Yes, sir. Church is in the world. The Lord's church is not a church in the world. We are different. We are a royal priesthood. We are a holy nation. Yeah. And we have to be identifiable. We're going to lead people Amen. to Jesus Christ. The lesson is yours today. If you're here, and you're not a Christian. I want to encourage you to come to Jesus Christ. You might say, well, Brother Barry, how do I do that? Well, you come by hearing the gospel. And what hearing will do, it will remove from you uh, the interest that you may have in sin. Yeah. And sin is a real, real problem. I told you earlier, uh, you know, God wants us in a close relationship. But uh, one of the problems of having that close relationship is because God is not going to hang out where sin is. That's right. 
I can tell you that right now. You know, some, some, some folks say, well, well, my brother, you can't tell me where I can go and where I can't go. No, I can't tell you. That's right. Well, I can tell you there ain't no God over there where you at. Yes, sir. Yes. Here is the gospel. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Removes Amen. your interest in sin, Romans 10 17. Then, believing, the gospel destroys the pleasure. And, and there, believe me, there is pleasure in sin. Yes, sir. That's why some of us can't get out of it. We, we, you know, uh, Brother Griffin, we, we, we're doing our own thing, as they say. And we are enjoying it. We can't come out. But when you get in this Bible, and, and you believe in Jesus, he will remove from you. Sin is not pleasurable to you anymore. That's right. Yeah. Yes, sir. And then, number two, you must repent of your sins. Yeah. Repentance will remove it, will destroy it. The practice of sin. It, it, it means you got to stop doing whatever that sin is. If, if it's the sin of fornication, yes, sir. Uh -huh. you got to stop doing it. Yes, sir. If you are shacking up, you're living with someone you're not married to, that's sinful. You got to stop doing it. Yes, sir. Amen. I know society in general no longer says anything about folk who, who are shacking up, but it's still sin. Amen. And then, you confess yes, Jesus to be the cross, the Son of the living God. After your confession, then what you should do is be buried in that water grave of baptism. Mark 16 and 16, he that believes and is baptized shall be saved. Once we're baptized, and when we're baptized, we are added to the church. And you can't be added to the church by baptism. The person who's the best prayer in here can't pray you into the Lord's church. The only way you can get in is by being baptized into the body of the yes, Lord. And, but what I want us to understand is that coming to Jesus and obeying the gospel, it's not just a one-time thing. Right. You know, some, some of us get really excited about our baptism certificates. And those are good. Yes, sir. It reminds us of the day. It reminds us that on that day we got baptized. Yes, sir. But it, it's also a, a reminder of the fact that God demands you to be holy. Because for, before your baptism, you are unholy. After you are holy, and you got to live faithful. Yes, sir. That's right. Until so Jesus comes in. Building a church through the priesthood of all Christians. As, as, as we've looked at this lesson today, and you realize that there, you know, uh, all the pieces of the puzzle is not fitting. You know, you've been trying to get the puzzle together. It's not fitting. Bring it to Jesus Christ. Amen. Let him help you with this. Yes. If you're here, you're not a Christian. Uh, come to Jesus. Whatever your problem, whatever your issue is, bring it to Jesus right now. As together we stand and as we sing, won't you please come?